had a few questions about how to interact with AI, how to interact with GPT or transformer models. I'm gonna keep it really, really simple today. I'm gonna to give you nine different examples of playing around with AI yourself for free, or at least there's a free tier for all of these. So please have, have a go, post your results somewhere, uh, or just interact with it on your phone or on your laptop. Here we go. Let's actually start out with the very simplest. This is offered by a company called InferKit. They're using a model called Megatron. It has 11 billion parameters and it was by Facebook AI Labs originally. It's being offered on faster servers here. I'm gonna use the same prompt for everything today. And this one is the question, where is Atlantis? And then we'll offer an answer, a colon, no space afterwards. I'm not gonna go into advanced settings today. We'll mention it briefly at the end. Uh, the only thing you might need to play around with is the length of generation. Some, sometimes this default is too low. You probably want a few hundred characters, but keep in mind most of these free platforms have a limit of what you can use per day or per week. All right, where is Atlantis? I'm gonna press tab after that one. I don't know who Rick Yancey is. I'm sure someone listening does. Oh, and it keeps going. So this continuation is a bit unusual, but we can replace the whole thing and start again, pressing tab or clicking the button. <laughs> this model is really interesting. You can do whatever you like here. I'm just using the one prompt uh, and you could do, you could write anything you'd like here. You can ask it a question or you can ask it to do something. The next most simple are the iOS or Android apps. Let's have a look at a couple of those. I've got them on the side of my screen here. I've already played with them. Open up your iPhone, click on the App Store. Let's have a search firstly for Copy Hat, all one word. This is by Yadada as the um, company that makes it, but it's using OpenAI's GPT-3 175 billion parameter model called DaVinci. The copy hat guys tell me that Ask Philosopher is the only one to use the biggest model there, the DaVinci 175B. I'm gonna type in the exact same question. Where is Atlantis? This platform's already set up for question and answer, so I'm not gonna type it in the QA format. I'm just gonna type it in directly, and there we go. Nobody knows where Atlantis is. You usually get more than one result, and there are 10 credits available. I think it's every 24 hours or something like that but that's a really, really cool app to have on your phone. Copy hat, ask it whatever you like. Uh, we're just using the one example today. Let's click back into the app store and we're going to have a look at the platform that I use to generate Lita's text. It's an app called Emerson. Emerson AI, two different words here. Otherwise you'll get no results. We'll open that one up. We'll go to messages down the bottom. And I'm gonna type in the exact same thing here. Where is Atlantis? What does Lita say for us today? <laughs> Atlantis is a myth, cool. You can retype your questions, nothing wrong with doing that. You'll get different answers every time. These are pre-trained models and they, um, they vary in their responses. They also vary in their accuracy and correctness. So don't expect 100% correctness. So of course, Emerson is by quickchat.ai. They offer that as a Telegram platform as well, which would be something that I'd show today, but I've got it set up for a video in a moment. So please count that as our ninth platform. It looks exactly the same. It's a question and prompt or a, or a prompt and response style interface. Quickchat.ai offer Emerson, which is using OpenAI's GPT-3 175B DaVinci model it's a really, really cool thing to have in your pocket and to play around with during the day. Cool, next most simple platform. This one is AI21, an Israel company's uh, platform, and they have a model called Jurassic One, which is actually slightly bigger than OpenAI's GPT-3, and it's certainly more recent. It came out a few weeks ago. We're in September 2021 at the moment. One cool thing about the AI21 Studio for Jurassic 1 is that it gives you a bunch of presets down the left-hand side. So it can give you some examples of what you can do and then you can click generate and away you go. 
I'm gonna refresh my defaults. I'm gonna paste in my where is Atlantis question and the answer, no space after the colon. I'm gonna click generate and away we go. Cool. So this one continued asking different questions. We could re-ask the same prompt and see what we get as a response. Destroyed by a volcanic eruption. And I don't know how we become Star trek -y down the bottom. Let's just ignore that one. <laughs> cool. Let's do Eleuther AI's GPTJ model next. There are two different servers that you could use for this one. The first one is a fairly slow one. I don't know who hosts it for Eleuther AI, but it's definitely not very fast. Uh, this is a 6 billion parameter model. The lab behind this Eleuther AI are a loose collection of independent researchers, not for profit. I really love the work they're doing and please have a play with GPTJ because it's a lot of fun. Their defaults are not great here, so I'm actually gonna change the defaults. I'm gonna change the top P to one. I'm gonna change the temperature to 0.5. We'll talk about what they actually do at the end. Otherwise, you shouldn't have to ever touch the defaults. I think they're, they're set up really nicely for all other models. Same prompt here, where is Atlantis? A colon, no space. Uh, it's given us a, <laughs> some cool text here, approximately 8.2 billion years old. Near Earth Sun, wow. <laughs> and we've got a slightly faster version of what you just saw there. So that was Eleuther AI's hosting. There is a group called AIX Solutions, which offers their own faster version of the hosting for GPTJ. Exact same model, but a little bit faster. There's a CPU version of this, which is free, which is a little bit slower. And there's a GPU version, which is a lot faster. That's the paid version. Let's keep all the defaults, put in our prompt, see what we get. And the faster AIX server gives us some um, similar results. It's generating Q&A right the way through to, is Atlantis really on the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean? Cool. I really wanted to show you the precursor to the largest model in the world at the moment. It's the Uldao 2.0 model, and that had 1.75 trillion parameters. It is by the Beijing Academy of Artificial Intelligence. It's not for public consumption at the moment, but we can get into a demonstration of Uldao 1, which has 2.6 billion parameters. This is really nice, uh, but unfortunately it's on a very, very, very slow server. So slow that I've been waiting more than half an hour for a response here. I'll show you the screen anyway. This is the screen. On the, pr on the left, I've got the prompt or the problem. Where is Atlantis? And on the right, I've got the response or the answer. And at the moment it just says, Wenhui is in crazy calculations, please be patient. I just wanted to note, this will show up by default in Chinese. To change it to English, you can right click in Chrome and translate. I'm in Chrome Canary, so I have to do it a slightly different way to put it in English. Uh, I'll put a link to this in the description anyway. And if you've got some cool results, I'd love to see them. Last one we have to do the GPT-3 playground itself. I mean, these are the, this is the latest of the greatest. This thing generates an entire US public library of new content every day. There are more than 300 applications using this as of September, 2021. And I mean, it's the same engine that is behind Emerson and Copy Hat, but let's use it directly. Here's the playground. I'm gonna leave all our defaults as usual. So OpenAI's GPT-3 using the DaVinci 175 billion parameter model. We'll submit that one. These are really fast and also types it out for you, which looks kind of cool. I'm gonna rerun that prompt just for fun. I'd love to see your results. You can throw them in the comments down below uh, and feel free to play around with absolutely anything, not just questions and answers, but if you look at some of the examples given in the OpenAI playground, uh, which is invite only, or the Jurassic playground in particular, it might give you some cool ideas for prompt crafting.